Um, no, no, no. There's a gap up to 20. No one has found range, you know, in between the lot. And, um, uh, and what distinguishes, you know, their table is that they believe they found examples with close to the smallest conductor allowed. Like the rank 28 example is, is far from being the optimal one, meaning with smallest conductor. Sorry? Yeah, I know, but I can't prove it. <laughs> Uh, and the way you know it, I, I mean, I can tell you why, I could give you my reason. One reason is you just look at the APs. In all, in all of the examples in the LPs walking table, the first two APs are right up against the hot bound. You draw, draw the parabola, and you just see them. They're trying as hard as possible to be as negative as possible. In the, uh, in the rank 28 example, you, you, you know, you see more like the top of state distribution right away. So. It gives more motivation. I agree entirely with Michael. Being 28 might be hard, but getting better lower conductors to rank 28 definitely will somebody, somebody will be able to do that. Okay, something else. Oh, sorry, no, Frank. In groups, which we'll also hear about. So, suppose you have a subgroup of FL3Z, then, uh, and which is the gets, then you know, I think, I get to prove this theorem that basically this group, it sees all the finite quotients. Well, not, not the number of other properties, but, right, but I mean, it sees basically all the finite quotients of FL3Z. On the other hand, if, if, it sees, if it has some quotients that are not congruent quotients, then it's not a congruent subgroup. So the question is, is that an equivalent statement for being a thin subgroup? In other words, if you have a thin subgroup, does it necessarily have a finite quotient? No, no, but they might have quotients that are not congruent subgroups. So, so certainly all, all, the, all the quotients of the couple of three basically come from the thin subgroup, but does the thin subgroup necessarily have a finite quotient? I'm just asking if you could just give a piece of example, which is not coming via the NASA SLC bit. So in other words, it's a, it's, a convert, it's a finite completion of the group, basically the, the finite completion of the first reason. I have no idea, but you... I mean, that's one way to possibly prove a group is thin. For example, to prove it's that onto like A17 or something. But is that always a method, like, right? could that be a way of always proving, you know, to have a thin group?
uh, LD Trinity. And I think that it would be the helmet. It looks like, it looks like Alex. <laughs> Alex, do you have any uh, questions? <laughs> We're doing a problem session. <laughs> do you want anything you want to solve? First question. Do you have any insight about this dude? Thank you. 